Hiya guys! Right, we're basically back at the Jubilee uh, Model Railway. The first time in, well it's got to be a month. Now sorry guys, I haven't uploaded for a while. This is, well, it's just been so hot here in Wales and my, uh, my railway is in the attic. Now you can guess, it's boiling so there's no point going up to the attic to even do any work on the railway. So I had, this is my uh, new addition, as the video is called. Now you probably weren't expecting this. This is a HO, go up there, Fala Ferris wheel, which is called Jupiter. You can just see it here. Now I've seen these on YouTube quite often. I thought, hmm, now I think that would be really nice on my layout. So I'll be building a sort of a, a little, uh, sort of fairground, maybe a festival or some, something like that. So I'm going to be getting a few of these from Fala. Now if you go on their website, they got a few different ones. Um, you know, I thought, yeah, let's go for one. But uh, there's one thing you warn you. When you open the box, you might be in a bit of a surprise. I thought it would be, you know, a decent few bits to put together. But watch when you open the box. This is pretty, um, yeah, there is parts absolutely everywhere in here. You even got a thing, if I just get these out of the way. Look, these are all the uh, stickers that you have to separately apply to different pieces. There's two missing there because I have actually already put them on. You got all these, these are all separate Every one of these are all tiny little separate stickers. So uh, you're going to need possibly a little bit of uh, patience to uh, do this. And you've got parts everywhere. Now here's the uh, instruction book, which is hidden underneath here. That's what it supposedly is going to look like when it's all uh, up and running. Well, that's the... Uh, that's the plan anyway. But to be honest, I gotta say, I gotta hand it to Fala. I think that's the way you say it. It's German, I don't know. The, their instructions are, well, brilliant. You just follow each and every little step. Everything's numbered, as you can see there. 515, so you go through all the parts you got in the box, and look for that part, and glue it together. So, it shouldn't be too difficult. And this where it says, Deco 42. Now that is the actual stickers that you put on. Basically, I get probably means decorate, and the number is on each and every sticker on there, so it makes it a bit easier. Now, there are a lot of pages. If you can see there, 32 pages of instructions. It should be fun, don't you think? I'm gonna have a go if it go, you know. And my dad said he's gonna give me a little bit of a hand to build this thing. So gotta be said, I'm not the best. Now in this little package here, I haven't actually opened it. We've got a few metal parts you can just just see there, not sure what they're for yet. Um, and this sort of black square little box is the motor. Yes, this is a working Ferris wheel, which is really nice to have on a layout, and there's a few other bits and pieces in there. Is the bearings, you can see those circular things there, which will go on top of the main table, which is this bit here. It'll fit fit nicely in there. So yeah, there's a lot of parts to be getting on with with this. And this is the ba the baseboard that everything fits on. Here it is. You can see I put the two stickers there. You can't quite see them because of the light. Let me just Ah, there we go, you can just see them now. So you have to stick all those on. And this, I haven't done very much. Uh, th this bit I've glued together. There's a few, three or four different parts to glue this on there. And there is another one you put on this side. And the wheel will go in this sort of, this area. And guys, just to give you a few tips, if you are thinking of getting one of these, they're not cheap. They're re really not. This 
set here is uh, brand new, which I got from uh, my local model shop, which is MIB Models in Porth Call. Now, obviously, it's not not the shop's fault. It's expensive. This is the price is well anyway. I don't know if I got a good deal. I I th think I did, but this lot cost a hundred and sixty pound, which. If you, yeah, it's a lot. It's a price of some some locos. You could e you could even get a a DCC sound loco for that if you have a look around on eBay. But the thing is, this thing moves, so it's more interest you're adding to your layout. You know, I prefer everything to move on my railway, not just the trains. You know, you gotta have the good scenery to go with with the good. Layout as well. That's the way this hobby works, really. Um, you can buy a lighting kit for this, which will light up the main structure and the Jupiter sign. Now, I have seen them. Yeah, they're very good. But they're only £10 cheaper than what the whole wheel was. Now, to me, that's probably a little bit expensive. Oh, you know, I've been on Fowler's website, and it's quite expensive just... For two strips of lights and a Jupiter sign which flashes on and off. So possibly that price is a little silly. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's a good price to someone who knows knows these things. So what you know, I'm gonna do a few updates every now and again of the uh, the progress of this fair wheel Ferris wheel, sorry, and then show it to you when it's actually fully working and I know I complain about the price of the lights, but I'm going to be stupid, I'm going to get them anyway. So, you know guys, there's plenty of parts to be uh, getting on with. Just pick one to show you what it's like. Right, this one. These are the things the people sit in. I don't know if you call them riding cars, passenger baskets, I don't know. You can see this. these bits here are the the roofs. These are the bottom parts, and these are basically the round bench seats, which will be glued into place there. Now you can put LEDs in these once it's up. Now I'm guessing they would have to be battery operated, because as the wheel is spinning, you can't have a wire going into that. It's just going to tangle up, obviously. I will be putting LEDs in them when they're built, so uh, obviously I'll let you know how that, that goes. Should be, should be fun. Now this doesn't come with glue or any tools, so you have to buy glue yourself. That's not a problem really. That just go to your local model shop, and most of them sell good, decent plastic glue. I paid about two pound fifty for mine, and it glues in seconds, which is good. And this pretty, pretty solid look doesn't move around. Obviously, it glue in that quick. You gotta get it right, otherwise it's gonna end up gluing and it's gonna be all over the place, wonky, and then you'll be annoyed with yourself. Because it'll just break probably if you put it apart. And that's the other thing, you've gotta be good at putting stickers in small spaces. Because once these are stuck on, inevitably if you got it wrong, you try to get it off, it's gonna rip. Now I don't think you can buy this sheet here from Fala separately. Just in case you mess it up. It's possible you can get it on eBay. I don't know, I've not had had chance to have a look up on that yet. Now just one other problem maybe I suppose you could call it. If you're going to have these on a British layout, a lot of the fairground stuff has German writing on it. Now that doesn't really bother me at all. This one doesn't. Because Jupiter, well... That's British Nate word, isn't it, really? We all have heard of that. So, yeah, it's going to have German writing on it, which is the same as the Fala car system. If you buy that as well, it's going to have German writing on the side of the lorries and buses or whatever it comes with. That, to me, it don't matter. It really doesn't. These are very, really well thought out of. You know, really nice... Pretty uh, sturdy base, and the parts all seem to be pretty sturdy as well in the uh, 
the box. So guys, uh, you know, that's all that's going on really. I got a few new locos up on the uh, up on the layout, which I will be showing you. You know, I got a few German engines up on the layout by uh, Lilliput and Rocco, if you've ever heard of those. You know, I've had a few of them for a while, which you probably didn't know. So I'll be showing you them in the future. And I just recently bought some more ballast and a few other different things. And I'm also getting a new controller, which will be a Gage Master DCC controller, which I'll do a, a quick review on that pretty uh, pretty soon when I get it. So guys, that's all, that's all for this video. I hope this uh, goes well. So I'll be keeping you updated. I don't know how often it's going to be because it's going to take a while what with me working and following the mainline steam and all stuff like that. So guys, thank you for uh, following me on YouTube. There'll be plenty more videos to come. So that's it for this video and uh, hopefully we'll uh, another update for you very soon. Speak to you all again soon. Thank you.